Hey everyone, welcome back to Coder's Journey, the place where we explore the coolest tools and features to make your coding life easier. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video if you enjoy learning about new developer features. Alright, today we're looking at a really exciting feature in Visual Studio 2026, and that is Mermaid Chart Rendering, directly in the Markdown Editor in Visual Studio. So let's see what it can do for us. So what is this all about? You know, you've ever wanted to like visualize complex workflows right inside a Visual Studio? Things like data structures, logic diagrams without, you know, leaving your code editor. This feature is for you. Visual Studio 2026 now supports rendering mermaid charts in Markdown files, files with the you know extension called MD Markdown. So you can either write your own mermaid syntax or ask Copilot to generate it for you. Once you have the mermaid code in a markdown file, uh, you know you can preview the chart instantly inside of Visual Studio. This is perfect for documenting your code or explaining complex logic, you know, visually. Let's go through a practical example. Say you want to create a simple workflow representing a logging process, for example, right? So first, the first step actually would be to create a markdown file. And then we're going to add mermaid syntax to that. So I'm going to go ahead and add a file here. I'm going to call this mermaid.md. So the extension has to be md. md means markdown. I'm going to add that. And here, you can add your mermaid, you know, syntax. The syntax is not that complicated. I mean, by working with it, by using it, and of course, asking Copilot, uh, you will get the hang of it sooner or later. I'm going to paste a very simple mermaid, and we'll see that in action. So this is my mermaid. Of course, I can, you know, adjust this and remove some of my, you know, uh, extra white spaces. Of course, mermaid doesn't care about them in this case, but just to, you know, clean things up. So this is mermaid. This is the output. Again, once the code is in place, you can click on preview to see this in action, or you can turn the preview off. So again, this is, this is great, right? By just clicking the preview button in the top left corner of your editor, you will see the output of your mermaid. Mermaid. Visual Studio 2026 will now render the chart in itself in Visual Studio. So that allows you to see the outputs without ever needing to leave Visual Studio 2026. This is something that we used to achieve in Visual Studio, uh, I mean, the previous versions using different, you know, extensions. So that's not all. You can, you know, ask Copilot to generate Mermaid for you. So, for example, if you want a diagram for a project workflow, just describe it in plain English to Copilot. Like, for example, hey, Copilot, generate a Mermaid flowchart for a user registration process. And Copilot will, of course, respond with the, mem with the Mermaid syntax, which you can then paste into your Markdown file and preview it immediately. This is great. This is, you know, uh, one of the features that I'm really excited about. And there you have it. Mermaid chart rendering built right into Visual Studio 2026. It is a super handy way to visualize workflows, data structures, or any complex logic right into your markdown files. And with Copilot, generating charts becomes even easier. Give it a try today. And don't forget to share your feedback with you know, with me in the uh, comment section. I'd really like to, you know, uh, hear uh, what you think about this new feature. Again, as you, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Never miss an episode of A Coder Journey. Let me know in the comments what kind of mermaid charts you're planning to create for your next project. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy coding. See you in the next one.